So I moved back to Hendersonville when I was 12 years old from Georgia. And by the time I was 14, I started dating a 21-year-old man. And by the time I was 16, I was a high school dropout and pregnant. In the summer of 1989, I met Mr. George Gonzalez, and I didn't know it at the time, but that would change my life. He introduced me to Blue Ridge Community College. I enrolled and I earned my GED. I had the baby, single teenage mom, Christopher is his name, on welfare. But those two circumstances qualified me for the jobs program, job opportunities and basic skills. It was a supportive services grant by Department of Social Services designed to remove barriers like transportation and childcare and hardships to allow its participants to go to school. Um, along with funding sources from Blue Ridge Community College like the JTPA Single Parent Grant, um, the Pell Grant, Work Study, and many foundation scholarships. So for the next four years, it took me four years to get my two-year degree, I practically attended college at no cost to me. Coupled with that was part-time income as the jobs program van driver. And that came to be because the participants, many of them, lacked transportation. So I offered up myself as a solution and they took me up on it. And that's what we did for the next four years. I graduated in 1995 with an associate degree in administrative office technology. That was on a Saturday. I returned to campus on Monday hired full-time by the Department of Social Services as its office manager in the jobs program. That program remained on campus, outposted for the next 10 years. And in 2000, Blue Ridge Community College hired me full-time as its customer service specialist in the JobLink Career Center. As a full-time employee of the college, I received the ultimate gift of a presidential scholarship awarded by Dr. David Sink, which offered me a full ride to Montreat College to earn my bachelor's degree. That move qualified me for the job that I get to do today as an HRD instructor in our employability lab. I've had five other roles that uh, I served in the Career Center in two part-time roles with our basic skills program and high school equivalency. I am so grateful for the experience and the professional growth learned through those roles and the teachers, the faculty and staff that became mentors to me, some of which are still my very best friends. I couldn't repay Blue Ridge in a million years for all that it has been to me in my life but what I can do is pay it forward. So I give, I give up myself and I give monetarily. I give because it's a privilege. I realize, especially in my role, that we don't have to be here. We get to be here, we were chosen. And because of that, we wanted to be here. I give because I know firsthand it makes a difference. Not because of what somebody told me or showed me, but because you're looking at it. I give because I am Blue Ridge. I, I can't remember a time since I was 16 years old that Blue Ridge has not played a part in my life. It raised me. So I ask our faculty and staff to join me in paying it forward. You might not know the impact, but trust me, it absolutely does and will have an impact. So I thank you. The Foundation thanks you, and Blue Ridge Community College thanks you in advance for your consideration.